Hey, Donna Schwartz here from the Everything Saxophone Podcast, and we're at the Key Leaves Everything Saxophone Podcast Nam Hang 2019. I'm so happy to introduce Lakeisha Benjamin. It was so nice to meet you the other night. Oh, good to meet you too. She uh, she was at the Rovner Legere Jody Jazz Jam, and she tore the place down. Le really, she did. She was amazing. <laughs> Thank she's, you. She's Thank very you. humble too, which is awesome. So, <laughs> so where are you based right now? I'm based out in New York. And what kind of what kind of uh, you know gigs are you playing? What kind of things are you doing? It's kind of like a combination. So I'm mostly in jazz, but also in funk and R&B. And I do play with a lot of comedians. I play with Craig Robinson, Dave Chappelle. I'm playing with Gregory Porter right now. I'm playing with Cool in the Gang. I have my own band and we're touring. So it's like a lot of versatile stuff. And you're very busy. Yeah. So you're saying you're com you're playing with comedians. What's that? What's that like? Oh, I've been playing with Craig for like at least ten years. So. It's pretty amazing. He's actually, um, there's a big surge in comedy going right now where they appreciate all the art forms. So they'll have like an Erica Badu and Nas come in. They all play themselves. And it's just like, imagine a great show, but also like a good comedy experience. That's you know, cool. It's still very music based. It's not just like the music's a side thing to the act. That's awesome. And uh, have you ever met Sinbad yet? No, I have not actually. All right, I, I'll I'll definitely introduce you because okay, he cool. was one of my students, so I'll definitely introduce oh, you to wow. him. That would be really cool. He, I know he's got a band going on with that too. So. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. Wow, I, would, I haven't come across them, but I'd like to see them. All right, cool. Yeah. So, all right, so you're doing a whole bunch of playing, a whole bunch of touring. Can you talk to us about touring and you know what it's like to do that and how do you survive on the road? <laughs> how do you survive on the road? I mean, it's not a good example now. I'm on the road now. I'm losing my voice, but uh. Try to get as much sleep as you can, even though it won't be that much, and be very mindful what you put in your body. Definitely. To definitely. me, that changes everything. If you don't sleep all night, but you're eating good, and you're drinking enough water and keeping yourself together, you know, you'll, you'll last a little longer. And what do you do um, when you're touring? It's hard to find time to practice, so how do, you, how do you handle that? Sometimes when I'm touring, I mean, the stage becomes my practice, because it's like each night I'm, I'm trying to get to a different place. But I had a teacher once that said, right after the gig when everybody's packing up there's a good hour before everybody's getting everything in and he's like and that's the moment where you remember what you couldn't get to oh wow so right at that moment is when you want to practice because so, you like you can try to get to where you wanted to get and then in the day you can try in the hotel room or whatever but at that moment you're still it's still fresh i was trying to reach for this and i just missed it so try to recreate where you were going and like slow it down put a metronome and see if you can get it that's that's such great advice, really. Thank oh, you. Oh wow! No, that, that really is. Now let's talk a little bit since we're at Nam. Let's talk about your setup. So, what kind of horns are you playing? Mouthpieces, reeds. Okay, so I'm a Van Doren artist, so I'm using all Van Doren stuff right now. I mean, Jody wants to change that, but we'll see. <laughs> uh, I'm using a classical V5 mouthpiece. It's an A35 small opening. Okay, right I'm from. using the Red Java Jazz size three and the Optimum ligature. And sometimes I rotate with the Ishimori solid silver lig ligature. Oh, okay, interesting. Because I like his stuff. Um, what kind of horn? I'm some artist, so this is a Series 2. Oh, okay. Probably Series from the 90s, late 90s. I'm a, I'm a bigger fan of their 90s, 2000 horns versus the new Jubilee Series. Interesting. Yeah. Like to me, they have a little bit more of a, a roar sound. Interesting. Um, do you play just alto or do you do alto and tenor? I do mainly alto and soprano. I play tenor if you're like Stevie Wonder. So we had a song where we did stuff like that, but I try to avoid the tenor. <laughs> I find that people, once you switch back and forth, they're so used to tenor and not alto as much, they'll keep calling you for tenor. Oh, that's interesting. So you'll lose your alto player voice. Very because they hear you on tenor and they just say, oh, can you bring that tenor again? You, 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 said, you said something interesting. You said you lose that alto voice. What do you mean by that? I feel like alto players and tenor players, I mean, the same horn, but it's a different breed. And my particular voice is on the alto. It's the tone, everything. You know an alto player when you hear their tone, like, this is really an alto player, and that's, like, where I excel the best. That's, that, again, that, this is so interesting. This is this fantastic. Oh, cool. um, now, you have another piece of new equipment that you're going to be trying out on your horn right now. Yes, key leaves. Yeah, so um, you just met with Rulan. What yeah. did, have you ever had an instance where you were trying to play a G sharp, and the pad stuck in my g-sharp always sticks my biz key of course and my palms there's actually been times where i've been trying to hit the palm and it's actually stuck closed oh wow in the e flat from the night before oh jeez 
and I'm like <laughs> in the solo trying to get it. So, <laughs> well, now with key leaves, you won't have to worry about doing that anymore. We're definitely gonna see. I mean, I'm looking forward to trying it. It looks like a great product. I'm really hard on my horns, so this will let me know within the next two weeks <laughs> what's happening. So cool. Listen, Lakeisha, I know you're really busy, and I'm so glad that I got a chance to jam with you the other night, but also oh, that yeah. you came to the booth here, so we, we you, you took a few minutes to uh, interview with us. Yeah. Thank you so much for taking the time. Oh, no problem. Cool. We'll look forward to having you for a full podcast sometime soon. Okay, thanks.